Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel, where today, before Raw, your host presents to you his review of WWE Survivor Series. Without further ado, here is your host, the leader of VSWville, and the author of the song, Cancer Sucks, the rap, VSW. Hey, 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 what's happening, everybody? It is your boy, VSW, and tonight I'm sharing with all of you my review for WWE Survivor Series. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right on to it, boys and girls. First up, we had the five-on-five -five Survivor Series women's tag team match. The good was that Team Raw won, and Nia Jax became the sole survivor. Now, Becky Lynch was supposed to be on the show to face... Ronda Rousey, but during the invasion on Raw, Nia Jax punched Becky Lynch hard enough to damage her face, leaving her unable to compete. But we'll get to that match later on, but a lot of people are angry with her about that. I mean, come on now. I really don't think Nia Jax meant to hit Becky Lynch that hard, so leave Nia alone, boy. Leave Nia alone. I still love her. But the bad, Bailey and Sonya Deville was eliminated after being counted out. The ugly, Nia Jax pushing Sasha Banks off the top rope, stabbing her raw teammate in the back because she wanted to be the one and only sole survivor. That's understandable. But that was an all right match. I give it a three out of five. Next, we got the architect, Seth Frickin' Rollins, going up against the United States champion, Shinsuke Nakamura. The good is that Seth Frickin' Rollins got the second victory for Raw. Although now, in four weeks at TLC, he will have to defend the Uncontinental title against his former Shield brethren, Dean Ambrose. The ugly, the only one I can think of, is the curb stomp. But that was an all right match as well. I give that a three out of five. And I got to get the title for this one because next we had the Raw Tag Team Champions, AOP, Authors of Pain, taking on the SmackDown Tag Champs with the big show, The Bar, Sheamus and Cesaro. The laugh out loud moment was when the big show had his hand around Drake's neck and made him wet his pants. Drake Maverick wet his pants. Ha! <laughs> The good was that AOP got the next victory for Raw. The bad was that Enzo Amore, former Cruiserweight champion, went crazy in the audience, and that led him to get kicked out and banned from the Staples Center. Bada boom, craziest guy in the room who just got kicked out. How you doing? But that was an all right match as well. I get that a three out of five, and we're done with this title. Nah. Next, we have Buddy Murphy defending the Cruiserweight Championship against Mustafa Ali. The good is that it was a very fun match, and Buddy Murphy retained. The ugly, for what I have seen, was Buddy Murphy shoving Ali off either the top rope or the corner onto the barricade. But that was still a good match. I give that a four out of five. Next, we get the five-on-five -five men's tag match. The good was that Braun Strowman got the victory for Raw after eliminating three guys, with him, Bobby Lashley, and Drew McIntyre being the sole survivors. The bad, Baron Corbin, the acting GM of Raw, attacked Braun Strowman after the match, which wasn't smart because now that Raw swept SmackDown Live from Survivor Series once again, Braun Strowman now gets to get his hands on Baron Corbin along with getting a rematch against Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship after Baron Corbin attacked him and just cost him the title at Crown Jewel. The ugly Shane McMahon's elbow drop to Braun Strowman through the announce table. That was a very good match to give that a four out of five. Next up, we got Charlotte Flair going up against the Raw Women's Champion, Ronda Rousey. The good is that it was a very good match until the end. The bad was that Charlotte Flair cost SmackDown Live the point by getting herself disqualified and literally just assaulting Ronda Rousey. The ugly, the entire assault from the kendo stick strike to the back, to the chest, and 
having that chair around Ronda Rousey's neck and just stomping on him. Turning heel also in the process. Why, Charlotte? Why? Maybe we'll find out tomorrow night. SmackDown Live. But in the meantime, back to the review. That was a good match. I give that a four out of five. Get the final championship. Oh, wait, before we do, got to talk about the quick tag match on the kickoff show where the Usos team defeated Chad Gable and Bobby Roode's team as they were the sole survivors and they welcomed Raw to the SmackDown penitentiary. And with that said, the main event where the Universal Champion, or should I say, the reigning, defending, undisputed, universal, two-time heavyweight champion, Barack Lesnar, taking on the new WWE champion, Daniel Bryan. The good was that Brock Lesnar reigned supreme and just destroyed DB. The bad was that he didn't take the chance to pin him after suplexing him so many times, welcoming him to Suplex City. The ugly, all the suplexes. Overall, that was a very good match as well. I give that a four out of five. All the matches talked about, overall, I give Survivor Series this year a seven out of 10, 3.5 out of five, with the best match being either Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey, Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar, or Mustafa Ali versus Buddy Murphy. And the worst match, Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. But yeah, this year's Survivor Series, woo, it was good. It was good. And I hope Becky Lynch is doing okay with her speedy recovery. And again, I am BSW, the host, and this has been my review of Survivor Series. What are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comments below, and be sure to check out my Cancer Sucks song down in the description below, which on Twitter has almost 1,000 views. So to everybody checking out my Cancer Sucks song, I want to say thank you all so much. And continue to watch it, continue to share it, continue to show your support for my song. And hopefully one day, Ellen DeGeneres, Steve Harvey, or anybody else will see it. And I can share my song with the world. But in the meantime, got to get ready for Raw. This has been VSW, and this has been my review for Survivor Series. VSW, signing off.